What's up guys? Today we're gonna look around Don Garlitz Drag Racing Museum. This is crazy. I'm just gonna uh, do some quick quick clips and kind of let you get an idea of this place and some of the history that's here. It is absolutely insane what's here. If you ever get a chance to come down to Ocala, Florida and check this place out, definitely do it. It is worth the price of admission. Look at this. John Force's car. Stay tuned. dangerous flaw in the design of a typical drag racer. He thinks because the engine is located in front of the driver, any explosions cause them greater harm. When that blows up, I mean, you've got serious problems. But then he starts to concoct a plan to stage an epic comeback by building a flashing new car with a distinct difference. The engine will be behind the driver. From his hospital bed, he's sketched that design. Upside down, backwards, and on fire. These are a couple bad rides right here. How fast do you think this is? With a Hemi. NA though. 891. Pretty awesome. A lot of history here. Oh man, look at this. Grumpy Jenkins. That guy was a legend. What? No, he's not even got the grumpy scoops. Sixty six Chevelle. This is interesting. This is a V12 Allison and powered a P40 fighter plane in World War II. Makes 2,000 horsepower on gas. And they had it in a dragster. That is awesome. 1964. Pretty cool. This is full of cool stuff. The walls are full of history. It's pretty crazy.
Moving on to the next building. There's another building down here. Got an old Texaco sign. like fighter jet yeah just hanging out right there in front of the museum so you walk this path and we go down to this other building and we'll see what's going on when we get down there this place has a little bit of everything visible pumps cameras projectors slot machines this is bugs burgers Kind of like his garage and how his house looked growing up. Kind of like a replica of what his garage would look like. A bunch of cans. And it was awesome. place is awesome. And there's a couple extra cars in this building. Well, if you like Smokey Eunuch, it was awesome. an icon some of his personal stuff here it's one of his engines guys obviously I can't video everything in here um, but just kind of hitting some highlights of some stuff here so this car is a lead sled obviously but this was the original Merc from Happy Days it was driven by the Fonz and they bought it and repainted it this awesome candy cherry color um, but this was the car from the show look at that color I don't, I don't know if you can see that in the video but it is awesome big daddy's Hemi Merc on the side it's pretty cool really hope that color comes out on video yeah, I'm just going to do some highlights of a couple of things here at the museum. Um, you'll just have to come out here and check it out yourself for the rest of it. There's just too much here. You could be here for days. It's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. That's an air raid siren. Powered by an old Chrysler. And it is huge. I don't know if you can see the size of it, I guess. Oh, there's a car right there beside it. Old Mustang. It is ginormous. This thing is awesome. 
blown big block lawnmower. It's crazy. Using a commercial. I don't want to get the yard mode. I got everything here. Kind of custom trike. We got a Dakota RT. Remember these trucks? All kinds of stuff here. Volkswagen cutaway. Parking meter. There's probably a few people watching it. Never seen a parking meter like that, I would guess. It's a little bit newer stuff. Except for this. That's sweet. 55 post. Sweet car. It's amazing. Look at this thing. Oh, Fairlane. Love these old race cars. Alright guys, that's it. That's just a taste of what's in this Don Garlitz Museum. So if you're ever out here in Ocala, Florida, definitely need to stop by and check it out. It's a really cool building uh, and uh, just an amazing collection. So definitely if you can get out here and you're a car guy, drag race guy, hot rod guy, whatever it may be. Um, sometimes they do events. They do like Mopar shows and different things out here. So uh, definitely get out here and check it out. It is uh, pretty awesome. And there's some stuff in here that I don't know. It's just, it's just a mark on drag racing and history of the sport and uh definitely get out here and check it out all right thanks for watching